Pakistan. You may have heard about it, but not the truth. So they were shooting in Pakistan. Militants have attacked the stock exchange building in Karachi, the land where the oceans, mountains, lakes, deserts, and cities collide in an explosion of culture, history, amazing food, and world class hospitality. My journey will take you from city to mountain, from north to south to east to west. A journey of a lifetime. A journey I will never, ever forget. Welcome to the real Pakistan. Good morning everybody. As you can see, I'm not in England anymore. I am in Pakistan. I am so, so happy to be here. It's taken a long time to get here. My visa took seven weeks to be approved. I'm not really sure why, but let's get the adventure started. I'm hopping on an Uber now and I'm gonna to head to the Pakistan Monument. And today is just gonna be a very chill day. Tomorrow the real adventure starts, but yeah, I'm so happy to be here. I can't tell you the feelings I'm feeling right now. The weather is kind of perfect, it's a little bit chilly, but it's sunny. Everyone has been really nice so far from the airport. I arrived at 4 a.m. last night, so yeah, I've only had about two hours sleep, but we're gonna have a great day and we're gonna explore one of the most intriguing countries I think I've ever come across, so let's go. So how are you? Okay, so I just got my money exchanged and I think they were probably the nicest people to have done it. They were so kind, so friendly, and they even gave me a chai. They gave me a chai while I sat and waited and we just spoke about Pakistan culture and... Man, what a good start. They are so kind. Okay, it's time now to go to the Pakistan Monument and check that out. And then I really want to go to Faisal Mosque at sunset, so... Today's gonna be so good. What is your favorite thing about Islamabad? The monument is the best. The mm -hmm. renovation. The monument. The monument. Amazing. Uh, view, which is the. Uh, if you like uh, Islamabad beauty in evening time, you go to uh, Ramneko. Mm, yes. I didn't realize Pakistan was so green. It's beautiful. Okay, so I've just arrived at the monument. I jumped in an Uber from the exchange office and the Uber driver wouldn't let me pay. I kept saying to him, please, please let me pay. But he just said, this is a gift from me. Enjoy Pakistan. Man, I'm blown away by the people here. So we just made it. Let's head inside and see, see what it's like. Okay, I've made it up to the monument. This area of Islamabad is so peaceful. We're up in the hills and all you can really hear is birds chirping. It's beautiful. But yeah, I've just made it to the Pakistan monument. This is incredible.
So overall there are seven petals. Four of the big ones represent the four main cultures of Pakistan and then the three smaller ones, like the ones just up here, represent the more minorities and yeah it's really really amazing. This place symbolizes unity in Pakistan and yeah really coming together just for a brighter future for everyone and I love it. This place is so peaceful. All you can see are eagles flying around up here. The sun is just coming up behind here. Man, what a beautiful place. I've just left the monument and I'm heading back into the main area of Islamabad, the main food areas I think. And you can walk through the national park. It's so, so beautiful. And as I'm speaking, there are two horses. <laughs> I've just made it to Faisal Mosque in Islamabad. Can't contain my excitement. And I'm really excited to say I'm going to be joined by Ershad from Abna Trip. Uh, I'm going to be joined by him for two to three weeks as we take an epic adventure around the north of Pakistan. I don't think I've ever been so excited to visit a country before. It will be a great experience. It will be a great experience. Yeah. So let's head into the mosque. Okay everybody, wow, <laughs> I've just made it into the Faisal Mosque um, in Islamabad and when you come into the complex, the mosque complex, you pay 10 rupees to put your shoes in but the guy actually told me in Urshad that we didn't have to pay because I'm a guest of Pakistan which is just one of the kind things that's happened to me since I got here. I got here just a few hours ago and honestly like I'm blown away by how nice people are. I've had so many amazing conversations like with people here and yeah let's hope it continues. So I thought there was a lot of people in here now but this mosque can actually fit over 300,000 people. 300,000 people? So beautiful, mashallah.
Okay, good evening everybody. Today has been so incredible, but it's time to leave the calm, beautiful city of Islamabad and head to a slightly more vibrant Peshawar, which is Islamabad's twin city. And I cannot come to Pakistan and not try famous Pakistani food on the first day. So let's hit the car, let's head there now. Okay, we just made it here to Stadium Road here in Ralpindi and it's crazy. When you drive in, you can smell the food from the air conditioning. I am so, so excited. So, let's go get some food. Okay, so first stop on this food tour in crazy Ralpindi is the same food and they're really famous for pilau rice. So, we ordered we're going to try a lot tonight and yeah this atmosphere is electric there's like three different floors we're on the main floor down here and you can see everywhere around me it's just so cool and yeah i'm really excited i love the vibes of these places I think this is one of their most famous dishes, right? And chicken, maybe beef or lamb. Let's give it a go. So all around this area is really, really, really famous for barbecues and chicken dishes and you can see everyone's having their selfies in this area because the food is so good. This area, this place is a really famous restaurant here. I'm loving the vibe of this place. Everyone is so nice. <laughs> Cut to four or five of them. Here comes the fresh ones. Wow, the smell is incredible. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we've got the beef, tikka boti. These are beef skewers full of the succulent meat with the saw being freshly cut over there. These look and smell incredible. We've got the tea, sugar for the tea and the sauce just down there. It smells so good. I wish I could show you, give you the smell, see the screen. Mm. Okay, let's start. <laughs> it's got such a great smoky flavour. You can see it crispy on the edges. Mm. It's so juicy and so rich. So amazing. 
Okay, the food of that place was so incredible. The meat was so juicy and so flavorful. I think one of the best meats I've ever had. And the owners are so nice. Everyone's so cool here. Everyone's so friendly, aren't they? 